right. We have here is an Oldsmobile. Okay, Deborah. Reach out and grab you. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> Abukadabba. Uh, it's like it's red but it's flat you know it's red but it's flat yeah yeah it's one of them try fives from that era I can't tell you what year though without a sticker. I would say 1957, that's what I'm gonna guess. Yeah, it's a 57 Oldsmobile. Patient wagon. It's, the paint is flat, but it's red and it's flat. Can't cool down. Round and round. Heat up. Cool, cool down. Heat up. Can't cool down. So, and next to it we have, it's like a 1971 Torino, which I wish someone would explain to me, you've got a great looking car like this, why did they change it? You got a great looking car, you got a great looking car like this, why did you change it man? All you really had to do, you know, it's like in 1971, this car is perfect, but they kept making the Mustang bigger. You didn't need to make the Mustang bigger. You needed to make this bigger as a four-door and as a wagon. It's pretty small as a wagon. But all you had to do was re-engineer it, you know, as a two-door, this is fine. The car stayed in this body style for two years. 71, 70 and 71. God, jeez. Now I'm not the guy has the full panel. This is a Torino GT. That's why you get that full panel. Jeez. The bug. I gotta get out of here now. The bugs is killing me. I'm not the. Again, nothing's wrong. Mm -hmm. I just, I see the fair lane in this body, and I see the Torino as an individual, independent model. It's, whatever they came out with in '72 was just not this. This was a hit right here. You know, this, this front end, you know, they aim too high in it. This is Ventura. It's like a 74. Your dreams. I don't know. Oh, please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Pretty much all I'm going to do anyway. It's, uh, 
I'm getting a lot of ideas for what I would like to do. Because before, those 40s cars, which is the silver one here, and those 30s cars, which is that one way in the back, those 40s cars, you know, even some of these 50s cars, I really had no interest in them. But coming to these shows, I get an appreciation for how different can be good. I mean, I'm still in the same state of mind that you just see too many Camaros and you see too many, you know, B-body Mopars and Tri-5s. So, I mean, there are other cars, but the problem is, what guys will tell you is, the aftermarket doesn't exist for some cars. It exists for this car because this is pretty much a Chevy Nova. Almost 100% of this car's Chevy Nova. This is Ventura 2, 1972. All right. The only real defining angle that separates this from the Chevy Nova is this piece right here. You take this out and you put the Nova grill in. You know, there's some more trim pieces over here, but you get the idea. But, geez. See? See, we got the same Chevy 350 in it, even though it has Pontiac valve cover gr uh, grommets. Jeez. Mother fudge. Oh, these, these mosquitoes are getting me. I gotta get out of here. So. Mosquitoes.